The Patriots are the number one team in 7A. Can they live up to their ranking in the state title game? Taking on fourth ranked McGill Tulin. Now, Bob Jones struggled early in game one, but things got interesting in the last inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the seventh with two outs. Mitch Daly hits a bomb all the way to the wall. He's going to pump it all around the horn, and he's got to actually make it to third. Forget the helmet. You don't need that when you're trying to win a state title. Still in the bottom of the seventh, we have Dylan Ray. He's going to pop this one up to right field, but it's dropped. So now Daly scores from third. They have cut the lead to four runs, eight to four. McGill still leading. Now John Riley Norris driving this one into right center gap. They're on fire in the last inning. Ray scores all the way from first. Now it's an eight to five ball game. I'm telling you guys, the game did not look like this for most of the time. Slate Alford had a big regional performance, comes up to the plate, and he's going to knock that one. Norris scores eight to six now, but unfortunately, that's how things end. Bob Jones scores four runs in the seventh, but comes up short eight to six. Now they're going to go to game two. That starts tomorrow at 10. But I'm, I'm super proud of our guys fighting back, and you know, it's a series for a reason. It's not one game, and I think um, tomorrow, you know, we just got to get back in the right, uh, in the win column in game one, and then uh, hopefully sweep them, um, you know, for a championship. So, like Coach said, if Bob Jones wins game one at 10 a.m. tomorrow, the end all be all game three will follow immediately after the championship games are played at Riverwalk Stadium in Montgomery.